All right, thanks for watching. And today I want to cover a really cool graph theory problem called the gossip problem. And it has to do with the following. Suppose you have a certain number of people, let's say here three people, one, two, three, and each of them knows a secret or knows a gossip. For example, one knows that Payam loves YouTube, two knows that Payam loves math, and three knows that Payam loves food. The question is, what is the minimum number of calls they have to make to each other so that everyone knows each other's gossip? For instance, here, one well, has to call someone to tell their gossip. So let's say one calls two. Then at the end, one knows two's gossip and two knows one's gossip. Well, and then someone has to call three to share their gossip. Let's say a two calls three. Then two knows all the gossips, one, two, three. But also three knows all the gossips because they exchanged. And finally, three knows um, you know, one's gossip and vice versa. So after the third call, everyone knows each other's gossip. So in particular, if n is a number of people and g of n is the minimum number of calls, then hopefully you can convince yourself that this was the most efficient strategy. We have just shown that g of 3 equals 3. So the minimum number of calls is um, Three. And here's the question. What about for n people? What is the optimal number of calls? And I want to show the following. So claim, if n is greater or equal to 4 for at least 4 people, then the minimum number of calls is no greater than 2n minus 4. If n is greater or equal to 4, then g of n is less than or equal to 2n minus 4. And convince yourself that for n equals 3, it's false, because we've just shown that g of 3 equals 3. Fun fact, you can actually show that it equals, but much harder to show. And I, I don't know enough graph theory to do it. But maybe in the comments, someone can show it. So how do you show that it's less than or equal? It usually just means find one strategy because the minimum is smaller. And this is best shown by induction. So it's a nice induction exercise. So proof. First of all, it's all about the base, but the base. So base case. Let's do n equals 4. And let's show that for four people, it takes at most, again, 2 times 4 minus 4, it takes at most 4 calls for everyone to know each other's gossip. All right, let's see how we can do it. So we have 4 people, 1, 2, 3, 4. So let's start with 1, for instance. And again, that's a beautiful thing. We only need to find one strategy, not really show that it's optimal. First call, 1 calls 2, so 1 and 2, 2 and 1. And then the second call, let's say 3 calls 4, so 3 and 4 and 3 and 4. Third call, 1 calls 3, so 1 knows everything and 3 knows everything. And then lastly, 2 calls 4, or, yeah, 2 calls 3 or 4, so 2, 1, 3, 4, and then 3, 4, 1, 2. So in fact, with four calls, we found that everyone knows their gossips. So g of 4 is a less than or equal to 4, which is what we want to show. All right, inductive step. Suppose it takes at most 2n minus 4 calls for n people, what we want to show is that it takes at most 2 times n plus 1 minus 4 calls. So 2n plus 2 minus 4, so 2n minus 2 calls 
for n plus 1 people. And let's see how we can do that. And the trick is really just to separate out the first person from all the other ones. So suppose this is 1, and then those are the other people. So 2, 3, 4, da, 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 up to n plus 1. Then what can we do? Well, look, the first call is simply one calling two. Then one knows two's gossip, two knows one's gossip. And the trick is, well, notice those are n people. So for everyone to know each other's gossip by inductive hypotheses, we know this is less than or equal to 2n minus 4. So after this 2n minus 4 calls, everyone really knows each other's gossip, because you know, 2 stole from 1, kind of. So 1, 2, 3, up to n plus 1, etc., etc. But then there's a lonely first person who only knows one gossip. So let's call them back. So let 2 call 1 back and say, oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you about those cool uh, <laughs> n gossips. And then one is happy as well and knows everything. All right, and the question is, how many calls did it take? So one, two, and then the two n minus four. So at least one strategy would be, again, two plus two n minus four, which is two n minus two, which is just what we wanted to show. It's 2 times n plus 1 minus 4. And again, I'm not saying it's optimal. We're just saying there is one strategy, so the minimum has to be even smaller. But again, it turns out it's true that it's equal to 2n minus 4. And from what I heard is apparently what you have to do, you have to form a clique of four people. And those are like the center, and then those four people, they give you all the other information. How cool is that? All right, if you like that and want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.